today we are getting the diff of the Miata reinforced. <laughs> oh sh there it is. Oh man. Oh, here we go. Is it gonna slam on the floor? Oh, we're oh damn. got this reinforcement kit. I don't actually know. Does it go on this way? I don't know. Maybe this needs to be bent down. Yeah. Oh yeah. That definitely needs to be bent down. Look at that. Yeah. So this will be cool. We're going to go see, uh, I think AJ's meeting up with us and it'll be a nice little setup here. A little turbo M50. Sounds so good. All right, well, here it is finished, nice and TIG welded. So hopefully that won't ever break again. But unfortunately, the sad part about going through all this effort is that the actual gears inside of here, don't quote me on the exact number, but I think that the gears shatter at 170 horsepower. So like this might be a little bit overkill. Now you see why it's a, such a pain in the butt to actually weld those. Okay, so you guys obviously just saw that short little intro there. So I drove to Connecticut got the diff welded, hung out with the boys, taco night, good laughs, it was awesome. Uh, drove straight home, so if I seem a little tired, a little groggy, I don't know the terms, but if I'm like a little off seeming, it's because I haven't really slept much. I'm really trying to just crack down, get this car operational again. At least let's go put the welded diff in, let's go do some donuts in a parking lot. Let's do something exciting. So that's what I'm doing right now. So here is the reinforced case, as you can see. All right, so this is just garbage. This is literally trash, useless. And as you can see, this right here is the diff with the professional welds in it. So I totally trust that that will be good to us, especially with 90 horsepower at the wheels. So let me just, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, bang, bang. Let me get all these bolts out. I got a new scraper to get all of the RTV out of here because in that other video, you guys literally watched me cake this thing up in RTV. So I think at least bare minimum in this video, let's get the reinforced case on the good welded diff, seal it up, let it dry, and that'll be a good base for this video. All the bolts are out. That was the move. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Here's my welds on this diff that I don't trust. I don't even wanna save this because if this breaks and this has to all come apart again, I'm switching to one eight everything. This is a one and done kind of deal for me. Let me clean this up, clean that up, re-RTV everything. Got both surfaces as good as they're gonna get. All right. Definitely seems like enough. Moment of truth here, let's plop the new welded diff into the reinforced case. Here it is. Here is the last step. Oh, 
Well, there it is. We now have a trustworthy welded diff along with the reinforced case. Yeah, I guess now, you know, in the next few days, expect the reassembly video. We got to reattach it to the frame, line everything up under the car. We got to do all that. Well, I got to do all that. Y'all get to just comfortably watch me from your living room or at work, possibly on the toilet. All right. Well, this is kind of awkward. So I did the end of this video originally was supposed to be the channel membership thing, but I ended up all the comments were just roasting me. So um, I took that down over there on the main channel because clearly that wasn't main channel worthy. Um, and if you actually go on there and look now, the video that I filmed in Hindi is over 100k views. So maybe I really should actually just stick to Hindi content over there. Clearly that didn't work. Um, so I apologize if that annoyed some of you. I guess it did is what it seemed like. Um, but... No, I wasn't begging for money. I literally said all I was trying to do was make a thousand dollars off of the channel memberships to like pay for drifting and other stuff like that. I don't know. It just hits differently when you spend a thousand dollars to go to a drift event or you spend 800 bucks, right? Realistically, on average, a weekend at Lock City is probably, you know, factoring in the tickets, the camping, the gas, um, tires factoring in everything it's probably a $500 weekend and I'm gonna make you know what I mean $12 off the video so that's why I did that there there was no secret agenda there was no uh you know get rich quick scheme I don't know I feel like people were really thinking that I was just out to make a quick buck or something I don't know what the vibe was like I was not trying to be predatory about it at all. I was trying to have fun with it and then ended up just getting shit on, but I'm still, I'm going to keep this video live because I want to document the journey of this actual build. So I'm just going to post it over here. I should have just done that in the first place. I should have just stuck with my word of, you know, filming Hindi content on the main page and dumping English content on this page. But there were a couple people that were vibing with it, right? Meech was in there. He was showing it a little bit of love, but everyone else was just like, oh, why is he begging for money, blah, 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 which, like I said, I, like, how how is asking for $1,000 to film videos begging for money? That's not, you know what I mean? It'd be different if I was like, oh, I need I need five grand a month. I need to pay my bills, and I need to pay this, that, and this. Um, that's not what I was doing. I'm sorry if it kind of, you know, rubbed off on people the wrong way, which like I said, I get it. I get it. I understand. I won't do it again. I'll, maybe I'll even delete the channel membership thing to begin with. But all I was saying was that I was kind of having fun doing the live streams and they make zero dollars. Basically, I spend three hours in a live stream and I make five dollars like that is fact that the screenshot or the thing that I showed in that video, that was true. That was actually the the real numbers. Like I literally waste, well, I don't, like I said, I don't want to say waste. To me, it's fun. I'm chit-chatting, you know, the, the subs are liking it. So maybe it's not a waste, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? The, the YouTube operation for me is not a money-making scheme. In fact, Every video I post, I'm losing money. I'm not even bullshitting you. Like, think about it. I just drove to Connecticut and back, right? That cost me 60 bucks in gas to what? Let me, you know what? Let me pull it up. What is this channel right now making on average per video? I'm just going to look it up and tell you right now because I don't know. I, I don't, how am I getting called out for trying to do like a get rich quick scheme or something? Like, that's not what's going on. That's why I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm not even butthurt. I'm just trying to, you know, clear the air. All right. So let's look at one video right here. 2,000 views. That's about average. 12. I'm not even kidding you. It's $12.95. Hold on. Let me put it on. Look right here. 
this video. You can go back and watch this. The video title is I'm Too Weak. 2.1K views, which I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the 2,000 people that still fuck with me enough to want to watch. So thank you very much for being part of the 2K gang. But look, I'm not, I'm not hiding nothing. What, what is so malicious here? How am I being attacked? Like, I'm just simply stating that I'm putting all this effort into YouTube and it financially does not make sense. Right? So that's it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, you know, besides that, like I said, thank you for those of you that are still watching me, even after all these years and all the ups and downs, but... I'm still going to keep filming. I'm still going to keep doing the vlogs. I'm still going to keep doing the streams, but I just won't ask for channel members ever again. Sorry. Well, anyway, before this turns into too much of a rant, uh, thanks for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in a day or two when I go to put all this back together. So, yeah. Thank you. Bye.